Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome and welcome back. My name is Durant Cersei, singer, songwriter, producer, performer, actor, if you nasty. And welcome to the house of the unofficial and sometimes, as you will see here, unprofessional, fragrant, and skincare guru. What is going on, everybody? First of all, I want to say, hey, what's up to all the new subscribers? I appreciate you. Uh, now, if you don't know, I am a fragrance and skincare guru only because I am delusional. I ain't got no credentials. I just feel like this is my chance to, you know, live in a fantasy world here on YouTube. I, you know, I just love fragrance and skincare. So that's why I consider myself a fragrance and skincare guru. But let me tell you something. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. That's why I say unprofessional <laughs> fragrance and skincare guru. Anyway, so what we're going to talk about here is some of my favorite purchases in 2023 meaning things that i have purchased that i have fallen so much in love with that i want to continue using perhaps in the future going into 2024 especially now what i want to say here some things came out maybe earlier than 2023 maybe 2022 2022 i understand that but these are things that i have purchased in 2023 and have enjoyed throughout the year or you know whenever i purchase them to now and i want to go into the new year still using them okay so first i want to uh, go ahead and get this out the way only because i have talked about these a few times and you know if you've been here you you know what they you know what i feel about them if you haven't then i have videos where i've talked about these please feel free to watch them you know get them watch hours up because i need them and first, I'm going to start off with just four things that I have mentioned in previous videos, and I'm not going to really get into depth into them because, like I said, I've talked about them in previous videos. But um, yeah, just a quick overview real quick. Still in love with Bath & Body Works Jolly Gingerbread Village. Yes, God, this smells good by itself and with Joe Malone's Ginger Biscuit. Speaking of Joe Malone's Ginger Biscuit, I am still in love with Joe Malone's Ginger Biscuit. Look look at that dent, bae. Now, you know that dent's probably because, no, it ain't probably. The dent is because it don't last long. But, uh, you know, I digress about that. Now, we have T.S. Madison. I even got a short, and I got a short and a video about this one. T.S. Madison's Everything. I am so in love with this fragrance as well. It's such a beautiful fragrance. Another favorite. And, of course... We have Beyonce, say no, why, baby. I still love this fragrance. It's getting better and better and better. It's not for the week, okay? So if you don't like this, <laughs> I'm just saying you need to elevate your nose, elevate your nose, get comfortable in your nose. No, no I'm kidding. Anyway, so... I am going to start this off, even though I started it off, <laughs> let's start it off with my candle of the day because, you know, we have to have a good smelling body, good smelling car, and a good smelling room. And I am rocking here today, Skin Muse Tonka and Oud candle. Oh my God, it smells so sexy and so fresh. Ooh, that talk is so beautiful. And the oud is just blended in there too profound. Action. Oh my God. Now, with Skin Muse, I am an ambassador. Yes, I am. But you know, they don't pay me to say none of this because I get my Skin Muse with my own money. So I say what I want. But uh, in the description box, you can get 15% off on all your Skin Muse purchases. I hear they're running a sale. And on top of the sale, you can get that extra 15 with using my code D U R A N T Durant. But baby, this Tonka and Oud is not to be played with. But I'm going to tell you right now, I have. I have smelled all the candles. I have used all the candles. They all are the bomb. Now, speaking of Skin Muse, while we in here, let's just go on because I purchased it. And this will be the Madagascar Vanilla Body Butter. I've talked about this several times, so we're not going to get too much into it. Let me get, let me show you the texture here. Oh, baby. And now look, at, look, who been using it? Who been using this? This smells so freaking good. And what I do with this, I don't know if I mentioned it in the last video. What I do with my uh, Skin Muse is I usually get out, you know, well, stand in the tub. 
Because I take a bath. I don't take showers. <laughs> Shout out to the shower people. <laughs> I ain't there yet. Um, I stand up naked, wet. And, you know, usually I put on the oil. And then I'll dab myself. And then I will go in with a... You, when I'm using Skin Muse, I go in with this first. But if I'm not using my Skin Muse, I'll talk about what I do, you know, when I talk about the next product. But yes, I usually, if I'm using Skin Muse, after I dab myself off, I'll go in with this. Not complete, not dry. I want to still be damp. So you block your body with the towel. You don't dry. So I go in with my Skin Muse, and then I go in probably with a little more oil again. Then I'll go in with the lotion. That's my regimen when I'm using Skin Muse. It's different when I'm using other things, okay? But this smells so good, and it is perfect. But this time of weather, again, 15% off. And I hear they got some sales going on. I haven't been on the website, but I heard they got some sales on. But they were like, Grant, see? They can get an extra 15% off on top of that sale using your code. Oh, baby. Baby, I love me some skin news. Now, as far as my other regimen, my bath regimen, what I usually do when I'm not using skin news is I uh, will stand up out the tub. <laughs> and then I'll, you know, since I'm still wet i'll go in with a little oil and then i'll dab myself off and usually what i do is i go in when i'm not using skin use with a lotion and this lotion right here jackie Ida said direct well she didn't really say that but she said direct <laughs> through her video in my head she said direct you need this lotion right here so i said okay you know jackie when jackie say i need it i need it now if i can afford it now you know jackie is she I don't know her pockets, but I mean, you know, I don't even, th I don't think she had pre-rich. I'm at pre-rich. I think she done leveled up to a rich rich. Okay. But that is the uh, Vaseline Radiant Lotion. This right here is one of my favorites that, because I got a few lotions. <laughs> I got a few lotions. But this one has really become my favorite. And I think what's so great about this one is that if I don't want to, I don't have to go in with a body butter because usually um, after I put the lotion on, I'll go in maybe with a little more oil and then I'll go in with the body butter after this. But sometimes I don't, I feel like I don't have to because it's so moisturizing, but I still do because I don't want to be dry or nothing at all, never. But this right here, this lotion is amazing. Are we gonna stay on bath? Since we're talking about body butters and lotions, I'm going to stay on that. And I said, bad. Who even talking about that? I am going to talk about one of my favorite lotions that I purchased. And this one right here, it's not moisturizing. And so if you like me, you use different, you know, multiple things. Like I use body butters and lotions and oils to make sure that I am not dry. Because when my skin is dry, my skin hurt it, the dryness hurts the cracking and all that mess it hurts so i gotta really make sure that i am moisturized boots <laughs> and so one of the uh moisturizers that i purchased like again it's not moisturizing but i love it because of the scent and the scent lingers and this is a lotion the fragrance is a fragrance that i'm really considering buying i have two more days actually technically one after this to figure out what fragrance that I'm gonna get. And this is Burberry Goddess Body Lotion. This right here smells so freaking good. And you know I have a little dabber of the Burberry Goddess fragrance and I am so in love with it. And you know, to me, it smells like an elevated <laughs> vanilla woods from Bath and Body. Now don't smell, they don't smell alike. They don't smell alike. This is like a more luxurious, elevated version, I would say. But I love this. This this smells this smoky, vanilla. It kind of it's a light smoky, but it can lean a little feminine because of the vanilla. But me, and when I talk about fragrance, or when it comes to fragrances with me, I don't care if it leans feminine or masculine. Well, I prefer it be in the middle. <laughs> because usually when it's too far out, I'm just like, ah! But, you know, if there's a masculine fragrance and it smells good, I'm going to get it. If it's a feminine one that I think smells good, I'm going to get it. You know, I don't worry about that. This is for men. Like, girl, boy, no. But Burberry Goddess, if 
I really feel like this should be the fragrance I should get full size of during the fragrance for all sale because I got the lotion. But my other options are kind of like, <coughs> so I don't know. Um, you know, knowing me, I may not get anything. I mean, that, that could be, but I'll let you know which one I choose. You, If you're uh, not understanding what I'm talking about, I have a short where I have a few fragrances that I'm contemplating on buying at the Sephora's uh, fragrance for all sale that goes up until December 24th. And I had a few options and I just need like some input of what you think I should get. But this is a top contender. Burberry got it's full size, but that lotion is amazing. Now, sticking with lotion moisturizing, <clears throat> This one here was suggested by A.I. The Great. She was like, Dred, you need to get this body butter or body cream, whatever. Because I'd be like, is it body cream? You know, whatever. I just know the Skin Muse, <clears throat> we do body butters over Skin Muse. <laughs> That's all I know. But um, one thing about me, if you don't know, now you know, something about the cherry note. Now, I love cherry. Like when I smell a cherry fragrance, like Tom Ford's Lost Cherry, oh, it smells good. And you know, there's the um, K. Ali's uh, Burning Cherry, I think, smells good, don't last. Neither one of them. But something about the dry down, man. And then I have this Okja fragrance that um, is kind of like a dupish type combination of Baccarat and Lost Cherry. That one settles nicely on me. I think it's because of the saffron. But does it have saffron in there? I think it has saffron in there. But uh, most cherry fragrances don't agree with me. So I was surprised by this because even in buying it, I'm just like, cherry just don't work on my skin. But baby, uh, baby, AI don't steer you wrong. Well, she don't steer me wrong. That's all I know. I mean, her taste is a little too expensive for me, but she don't don't get me wrong but this right here is from the body shop and this is the cherries and cheer body but oh my the thing i like about this is such a fluffy cozy let me just show you the texture as you can see i've been using it see i'm not just saying i bought it this is such a beautiful freaking cherry it's so I don't want to say light because the scent lasts on me, but it's, I think the reason for me not liking a lot of the cherries that I've tried is because they always have like a boozy note to it. And it's something about that cherry and the, I think it's the cherry and the boozy. I don't know. But one time I had on uh, Tom Ford's Lost Cherry and it was like a cherry boozy something. And I just did not like how it smelled on my skin. But I love the fragrance. Anyways, this right here smells so, so good. And it don't, it's not harsh on my skin. It's not harsh. It smells good on my skin too. It's just like trying to find a fragrance on, because I used uh, Kaoli's uh, Vanilla 28 on top of it, because I didn't want to add that uh, Okja with the ch Lost Cherry Baccarat. I, because I just didn't want to lose the magic of this cherries and cheer fragrance. And she said that this was limited edition from what I hear. So I got the oil too. So I'm guessing cherry does work on my skin. I think when it doesn't have a, a boozy or burning something, it don't. This right here is so nice. It's so nice. And this is something I would want in a candle. This is something I because I'm the type that likes gourmand on my body, but I don't like to smell gourmand or any kind of any kind of food, uh, fruit, not, not food, but any kind of foodie, cookie, and sometimes even cherry. I don't really like to smell them, you know, around the house. But I can, you know, on my body, you know, cookies and stuff. I love that. But if you put a cookie or something candle in here, I'll be like, oh, <coughs> you need to cut that out, please. That's just me. But anyways, I just went on a tangent for no reason. It ain't got nothing to do with this. <laughs> That's what happened on this channel because I don't edit my videos. I'm just talking straight through and I can talk, baby. <laughs> I can talk. But AI the Great, she killed it with that. That cherry works on me. And continuing with the body butter, and this is going to be the last one. 
as far as the body, butter, lotion, whatever the case. This right here is arguably the best body butter I have I have smelled in my life. Now, I mean, you can argue with yourself. <laughs> you can argue with yourself. Now, let me say, let me just say it this way because everybody knows that I love my skin muse and I love even the cherries really much a lot. But this one here is one that I think because there's some memories to it, all that good stuff. I don't know, but this this body butter is my favorite of all body lotion butter, whatever the case may be. And I am not ashamed to say it. And that is the uh, Fancy Aura Parfum Body Butter. This costs about $80. Yes, yes. And the thing about me, I love Fenty. I love Fenty products are probably, as far as skincare, are my favorites out of all of them. Favorites. And so when Fenty comes out with stuff, I just really like to try it because I really love the brand. It has my favorite face wash. I haven't found a face wash that works better. I love the Fenty face wash. But baby, this body butter right here smells so sexy. Have you ever smelled a fragrance that makes you want to cry? Have you ever smelled a fragrance that gets you so emotional? You just be like, damn. Where is it? This smells so... This is probably my favorite investment. <laughs> now, as you can see, Something about this fragrance makes me so freaking emotional. And you know I love this fragrance. Oh, my God. And it's so moisturizing. And you have, like, the scoop here. This is what I use to scoop it out. This smells. I know people are very up and down about the fragrance. And speaking of the fragrance, I believe this is my fifth. Fenty Eau de Parfum. This is actually my scent of the day. And you're going to be like, why is that your scent of the day? Because I have another one that I'm using. <laughs> I, this is a forever fragrance for me. I have about five forever fragrances. Um, one, another one I'm going to talk about today. And this one. And then there's Montel's uh, Roses Musk. And um, what is another one? What is, it? what is that other one? What is that other one? Okay, I'll think about it later. But there's two more. Yes, I bought another one of these this year. And I, like I said, I think this is my fifth bottle. Yes, God. Oh, tangerine, I believe, on the notes. And you know, the thing about this fragrance here is, I think there was Bulgarian Road. Oh, it's so beautiful. If you don't like this fragrance, I still think that you would like this body but i'm not saying you should go get the body butter because i mean don't get it because that means when i'm ready to get another one it ain't gonna be sold out <laughs> that's really what i'm worried about so you ain't gotta go get it i'm just saying this right this right makes me so emotional just smelling it i have you have you ever smelled something that makes you go like almost into tears that's what this does to me it smells that freaking good and this is my fragrance of the day I'm wearing this and I got this on again. I have a bottle that's open. I just want to show you the box. Baby! Woo! 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 Fancy! Fancy! I'm a mess. Okay, so what are we going to go to next? You know, let me get this out of the way. I made a reel about this and I stand by it and I want to talk about it today. And that is Japanese cherry blossom. Now, why do you have this in here? Now, this is a room spray for me. But baby, I just recently purchased the hand cream. It was two dollars. It was on sale for two dollars. Or does it go this way? 
I don't know, but I wear this, I, not wear this, I spray this for the room. This is like a room spray, okay? Ooh, don't get it next to it. Come on. This, this fragrance is iconic. But let me tell you something. I don't wear this on my body, like I said, but I wear this on my hand. This fragrance is so freaking iconic. I don't give a damn what anybody says. This smells so freaking good on my hand. I ooh, if you don't like Japanese cherry blossom, sorry. I mean, that's that's your problem. But yes, I it's so interesting that I don't want to wear this on my body because it's something about cherry, even this cherry. But this hand cream smell, I put it on today actually, uh, when I was out. And which is weird because I haven't been to you. I'm like, this don't even go together, but I don't want my hands to be ashy. It smells so good. So freaking good. I'm like, oh, yes. If people don't like Japanese cherry blossom, I really don't even trust you. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Anything you say, anything you do, I don't trust you. Now, get out. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're going to keep with fragrances. And we are going into a fragrance I talked about recently. This is one of another one of my favorite buys of 20. 23 and that's from my dallas's own miss funi monet oh and this is exalte this i think that's how you say the name now you have it in the box how is it your favorite you ain't even used it i've been using this so i got this first if you don't know i got this travel size first i guess that's what you call this travel size got this so i'm still using this and um, i actually uh put this on last night after i put on my fenty uh, body cream i put it just on my arms and oh my god this smells so good i follow her on instagram because like i said prior to getting this i really didn't know about her oh i love her personality it's so it's something about earth signs for me i am a leo but it's so crazy because everybody i've been in a relationship with has been a freaking earth sign except capricorn i have dated three tauruses i've been in relationships with three tauruses or virgo I, I don't know. It's something about earth signs. And uh, even the people that I find myself attracted to, they're always, they're earth signs. I don't know. Maybe because I really like balance and I want somebody who's very grounded and earth signs are usually grounded. I really don't have anything bad to say about anybody except that one Taurus that left me in the therapist's office. I think I need to tell y'all that story one day, but you know, hey, but this smells so good. That rose, I think this is a, is it, oh, is it Turkish rose? There's a rose note in here, but it is so beautiful and a lot of people say this will lean feminine i don't care i wear what i want it smells good on me so hey you gotta try it It was a little expensive that's why i was reluctant so that's why i was glad they had these this was like 35 dollars, and i think this is like 125 or something it's, it's a little expensive but i got it about uh at 90 90 80 dollars or something like that and i am so happy that i got it oh my god it's so good and then to support my dallas's own Oh, I love her personality. It, I love her personality. I love me an earth sign. Oh, God. Ew. I love earth signs. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to stop feeling myself. The next fragrance, I have to support another one of my sisters. You know, I love my black women. I love my black women. They are my fave. Okay. And that is A.I. the Great. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you she stuck her foot in this fragrance, and this is ambrosia imperial oh i just really you know you know how you love something so so much you want to slap somebody it smells so good you want to snap it what it tastes so good you want to slap somebody she put her mf and foot in this i'm looking forward to um reviewing another fragrance from uh this house um in the next few weeks oh my god this banana note is so sexy. I have gotten so many compliments with this. I wore this to the theater. Baby, you could tell me nothing, baby. Baby, baby, baby. This, this is probably, this is probably one of my favorite fragrances. I think this is probably one of my all-time favorite fragrances so far. I love this fragrance so much. And as you see, the den is real, baby. I'm not playing. I, I love and wear this. Baby, <laughs> and I have a um, I have a banana. I have two different banana um lotions. Who y'all ain't better when I when I wear this, baby? 
you know what? I would like somebody that I like to wear this. It's just see how, you know, because some fragrances, somebody I like can't wear that I wear. Mm -hmm. It's going to work. Now, the, oh, I forgot. So I was telling you I have five different fragrances. This is the fourth one. And I forgot to add this on my short when I was trying to figure out what um, full size bottle I want to get. And this is Mason Margellis Replicas on a date. This is one of my all time favorite fragrances. Oh my Jesus. Have you, look at this. I want the full size. This is a forever fragrance too. This is very controversial because it's got a little rose, I think it's a little champagne or something like that. Some people have claimed that it's musty. It smells musty. But baby, this fragrance is beautiful. This is probably their best. This is better than By the Fireplace to me. Sorry, better than Jazz Club. <laughs> I said what I said. I agree with what I said. I said what I said. I'm fighting about what I said. Okay. <laughs> but this is so good. Oh, my God. This, so this is the other one I forgot to leave out that short about, which, you know, in regards to the one I wanted to get for the sale. I think this might be it. This is forever for me. Now, this one here is another one. This is the second one that I said was one of my forever favorites. And I think this is my second or third bottle, and I talked about it before, and that is Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar. Oh, my God, I love this fragrance. Like I said, I think this is my second or third bottle. That's why it's not used that much. But this is such a, it's a gourmand, but it's a gourmand that you can wear in the summertime. Because some of them gourmands be like, ah, ah, in the summertime, oh, no. This is such a nice fragrance. And it has, to me, it has CI. So I smell it throughout the day. So, I, I mean, I take it with me too, but I smell it on me. I do overspray. But, I, you know, for people who say that this don't last or, you know, they don't smell it, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You might want to get some moisturizer. You might want to get you some skin meals. 15% off using my code Duran. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, get you some moisturizer. Put it on. Now, let's kind of get, oh. Now, I really want to try that fragrance by Parfums de Marley in the brown bottle. I think it's called Altair. Now, when I saw the price, <laughs> yes, I'm pretty rich. I'm pretty rich. I just bit my toe, but I'm pretty rich when I saw that price. So I was like, what am I going to do? I want to smell it. If you got that fragrance you want to share with me, please feel free. Hit my DMs, Durant.Cersei in uh, Instagram, and let me know that you want to share it with me. And I'll be happy to take a sample because I really want the fragrance. Especially now after I, you know, out of desperation because I want to smell it. Everybody's been raving about it. And I didn't have a way to smell because I wasn't going to spend that money. Because, like I said, I'm trying to get a mansion. And... But if Mariah Carey came out with a fragrance, <laughs> I'd be like, okay, okay. I, you know, I love DUA, Dua, whatever you call it. So they have a dupe for it. And it is called the Eagle Has Landed. This is a dupe for Parfums de Marley's uh, Altair, I think is what, how they say it. Now, if it smells like this, and I'm betting it smells better. Baby, I want it. I want it. This smells so freak. This vanilla, this is it's like a nice, <laughs> spicy vanilla. Oh, this smells so freaking good on my skin, baby. I was I was walking to the store like <laughs> you gonna smell me. Hey, hey. This smells so I want to smell perfume some money out the air. If it smells like this, I want it. I want to smell it. I want it. Because this smells so freaking Good, and it smelled good, right? Because, you know, some of these uh, fragrances, you have to let them set for a little bit. It smelled good the first spray. Now, I don't let it sit for a little while, and it's like, man, this is great. This is good. And I may talk about it a little later, you know, the notes and all that, but it's like a vanilla fragrance, very spicy vanilla, and it smells like something that might be more geared towards the colder colder uh, weather, but it's, oh, it's, it's a sexy, like, I'm by a fireplace smelling like a snack with my bait that I ain't got that one day I'm going to have. And I'm, I bet you I'm going to have one next year. Don't play with me. I'm in therapy too. Somebody finna get, somebody finna get the, they finna get the, uh, the, the grand finale. The, the, the good, good, good. Cause I was a good neat. I was a good man to all them motherfuckers. They just didn't know how to take it. But you know, now that I got therapy, now I'm just, my goggles, my, 
my glasses, I'm seeing through the BS, <laughs> baby. I ain't finna waste my time. I sure ain't finna waste my body. <laughs> Speaking of body, I ain't kissed nobody in years. <laughs> baby, I ain't kissed nobody in years on the lips. But you know, I can. I just don't, I don't just want to just see anybody's lips on mine. Especially since I try to take care of them as best as I can. So um, when it comes to my lips, one of my favorite things that I got this year is from Fenty, and that is the plush pudding. And this is a lip mask. I put this on at night before I go to bed. Lips be glossy, and it smells so freaking good. Oh, I wake up, because when I go to bed, my lips are greasy. Just so, because you know when it comes to lips, you need to go with, to me, you need to go to sleep with your lips greasy, not, you know, with stuff on there. So when you wake up, they look normal. Whereas if you go with no chapstick or nothing on your lips, go to sleep, you won't wake up, they're going to be extra crusty. See mine, they be normal. So when I wake up, they can just, and, oh, dang, your lips soft. <laughs> I know. See, you, and you think I'm going to waste my kiss off so just anybody and be soft lip? But you better get your, and speaking of, <laughs> Speaking of lip mask, this is another one. This is black on. I'm so proud of this. is K Skin. Now, this one is so good as well. And the thing about this one, it smells good. Both of them smell good. It's vanilla, light vanilla fragrance to it. Oh my God. Wake up and my lips feel soft in a mud, soft in a mud, soft in a mud. But before I do my my uh my overnight mask, my lip mask is what we call them. I love Fenty's lip scrub. Baby, you need to have this. You need to have this Fenty lip scrub. Like, yes. And so what I do, you see a little texture there. What I do is just go, go on, put it on there, and then just let it sit for a minute, and then you just wipe it off with a paper towel. And then usually after I wipe it off, I'll wash my face so I'll make sure all of it's off. And then, you know, after I brush my teeth, Boom, because I usually brush my teeth before I wash my face. So usually by the time I wash my face, I can just put on my lip mask. Baby, I'm waking. <laughs> but you know, if I got a boo, I gotta make we gotta do the thing before I do all that. You know, we gotta do the thing thing before I do that. Because you know, I, anyway, I got an imagination. My imagination. What a wow. Have you heard my song Dream About You? It's like I'm living in a real life. <laughs> all right, we're gonna talk about lip product more lip products and these are just lip balms i'm gonna kind of skate through these real quick summer friday is one of my favorite brands it's not black on but i love their lip balms and this one i talked about the other one it was too red and this one was pink sugar oh my god it's so good smells so good now if you like your lips a little glossy then you'll love this now if i think probably a guy won't be cozy enough to wear these except me i'm cozy so my lips get Got a little shine. And this is what I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. And this is another thing that I got this year that I really love. And this is the Brazilian Kiss from Sol de Janeiro. Oh, this smells and tastes so good. <laughs> tastes so good. It's so good. And this won't leave your lips glossy if you're one of those people that don't like glossy lips. This is so good. And the smell is so amazing. I really forget that I, you know, when I wear this, and even uh, Summer Fridays, like I could put it on and not put anything on for a few hours. So it's really cool. And one of the new things I got, and this one's black on, but you got like really glossy lips to love this one. I like glossy lips. And this is Topical Slip and Self Mint Lip Balm. Oh, this is so freaking good. I have some pictures. I think I'm going to post some more on my Instagram. I freaking love this. And it smells so good. It's vegan. Uh, hyaluronic acid, glycerin. Oh, I think it's vegan. But what I really like when it comes to my products, I really like to have products that are cruelty free. That's like the main thing for me because I am an animal lover. And so I don't want to, you know, I want to stay away from products that are made from animal products, period. And um, also from Topicals, I love this seal. I purchased this this year. I purchased I, maybe two of these and i was confused by it um what i use this for i have a few dips like in my head like right here i don't do m-e-t-h i don't but you know some they say people skin like that when they do that i don't so i use this um after i wash my face i'll dab it in there 
and leave it for about 30 seconds. Then I'll put my moisturizer and then it kind of like, it kind of fills it up, you know, so you pretty much won't see them, you know, when you see me. So I really love this. It has, it really, 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 really works, especially for the pores as well. Oh, I love, love, love. And it's black on. I don't know if I said that already. It's black on. It's black on. It's supposed to be easy. But this right here, this next product, I'm trying to go as fast as I can. I see I'm talking a lot. I'm talking a lot, you know. But I'm almost finished, I promise. We're going to stick with topicals. And this is another product that I am so in love with. This is the Exfoliating Body Serum. I don't know if you remember or if you know, I had this issue where both of my legs had broke out really bad. And um, come to find out, I had a, an infection on both of my legs from um, ingrown hairs. Crazy, right? And then they put me on doxycycline or whatever, the, whatever that thing is, and I ended up getting really sick. Then I ended up in the hospital. So uh, my legs end up being, they end up darkened after I kind of healed from it. So I got like dark spots all on both of my legs, which I hate. I didn't really wear shorts. I haven't worn shorts in years. I'm not a short wear. I don't even own, I think I own like one pair of shorts. And um, this right here really is helping clear that up. And I use this after uh, like maybe two or three times a week. And before I moisturize on those days that I need to use it, I'll have to go in with this first. And then I'll moisturize after I have, uh, you know, tap dry my body off. So this is so amazing. Black owned again, topicals. Okay. Now, I really love this. I feel like I'm all over the place, but it's all good. Now, I really love this, and this is just a light little something if I don't really want to um, smell a lot of fragrance on, you know, that night I'm going to bed. But I used to use this, like, for night fragrance, and I also use it if I'm going to wear my Fenty because it kind of goes with Fenty a little bit, too, as well. And this is from, I think it's called Loctane, and it's the beautiful, uh, it's beautiful, delightful, <laughs> delightful mist. And this is kind of like an almond fragrance body mist oh my god i fell in love with this i also have the body oil and so i really, really love the oil i should have bought that too so this is one of the great purchases it smells so good it's so light but it's so fragrant now this it might not go well and it can give a little hot you know you know some fragrance don't you smell them you're like i don't see a black person wearing it <laughs> it kind of gives that but it smells so good. It's very, 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 very good to me. Very light and refreshing smelling as well. So, like I said, it's like an almond fragrance, but it's really, really nice, really elegant. Now, I have hair in my region area, you know, in my private area. Um, I have hair in the back area. It's, you know, just a little. I'm not hairy, hairy like that. Now, uh, if I had a partner who wanted me to shave, I'd be fine with that. But let me tell you something. Oh, I, I need my partner, my boo, my man to have hair, right? I, I just don't like the bald kitty look. I, but if my partner want me to shave, I'll be glad to do it. But, and the reason I'm telling you this is because since I got, I shave down there, I, I trim. I don't shave, you know, because, you know, I don't need to. And so you tend to feel a little insecure every once in a while. So I, you know, I have to use a little something to help with that. And that is what this is for. And this is Mega Babes Body Dust. And it's top to toe powder. But I use this here for my private area. Under, you know, there, you know. Okay, if I can get it there. Yeah, there. And I got this from Ulta. This one sell. So what I do after I take a bath is I, you know, um, I really, you know, I just dab it. Before I'm putting on my underwear, and then I stop right there. Then I dab it in my underwear, and then pull the underwear up, and then pop, 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 pop. You know, it kind of makes me feel a little extra fresh. You know, I, hey, hey, it, it's just what I do. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, because you know I got just a little hair down there, so I gotta take that. And so also I have a fragrance oil, and this is I got this from Ulta. I'm gonna hurry up. I know this is Nemat Vanilla Musk. One of my favorites. And I usually dab this in uh, some body lotion. And baby, it smells so good. As you can see, I have been, I've, t I've been told by folks that you just need a dab. I've tried, you know, I'm trying my best to just, you know, save as much as I can. 
but this really smells good and it lasts long on me the i guess because i'm dabbing it in my um my lotions or whatever the case may be so it lasts a pretty good while and it's very nice soft fragrance now one thing that i really love is soap yeah <laughs> we, we should all love it <laughs> you know but when it comes to hand soap this is the only hand soap i want to use from here on out although you know i'm not opposed to any other soaps but this is my favorite soap of all time hand soap and this is moroccan oil hand wash baby i love this soap down Woo! and this has like this one is like uh let me see the fragrance original so this is the original it has like an amber ambery fragrance to it it smells so good and it makes my hands feel so soft it smells so freaking good now um and pay for your say and you know you pay for your pain i have information about that in my description box but the lady who's overpaid for you say she, you know, she bougie. So she says she, this is the kind of soap she used. And I got me some. I was like, oh, really? That's my $20. I got it at Sephora sales. I, I had to stock up during the Sephora sale. But baby, this is my hand soap. This, this is the only hand soap. No, I, I got some in the kitchen, but you know, but this, this is the only hand soap in my back. I love that hand soap. Okay, so. We're gonna finish this out with something different, but these are uh, because you know you have to brush your teeth every once in a while, every day, maybe twice a day, three times a day, you know. But you need a mouthwash. Now I use a regular mouthwash uh, from uh, Closes, C L O S Y S, uh, but I have discovered these and I am so in freaking love with them. And they are the Boca Restore mouthwash. Oh, and these are pretty much. I know we talk about fragrances on here, but you know, there's, you know, fragrance in your mouth, okay? These are little tablets. Let's see if you can see that. You see that? So you just take one tablet after you brush the tree, and uh, you just chew on it, and then it'll eventually turn into liquid, and then you swish it around for about 45 seconds. Baby, your breath will be smelling good for it smells so good about two three four hours you try to eat something be like Ugh, because you know you still got that fresh minty thing going on these are so freaking good now i use the mouthwash twice a day i used to use this one in the morning and then i use my closest at night baby you have to. these are so good i have two of these <laughs> two of these they are two sitting in my freaking bathroom i'm not playing no game and so we're going to end it real quick with uh two more items Two more. Just two more. And right here, and we have the Tranquil Essence. This is for my face, and this is from Keys Soul Care. This right here makes my skin feel so refreshed, and it's supposed to, you know, you know, you make me feel fresh and help with impurities on my face and all that good stuff. So I really love this. And from what I hear, it has anti-aging things going on. I don't know about that because you know I'm 42. I ain't got no wrinkles that I know of. You know, I got the little crow's feet. But this really, one of the things that I love about this is that it makes my skin feel so refreshed. And then also, it um, when I put it on after, you know, it dries down. Because the thing about serums, when I put serums on, I put serum in here and then I dab it in my face. I dab it, I dab it, I dab it. I don't rub in my face. And so when I put this in, melt this in there, after I finish, some days I've, you know, wandered off or done something, whatever. It doesn't, it makes your skin feel so refreshed and not over drying at all. It doesn't over dry. This is some good stuff right here. And as you see, I have used it, baby. We ain't playing no games. Now, last thing, and then I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And this is from my, my, oh no, I got something else. Oh, okay, just bear with me. This is one of my favorite brands of all time. I love Jackie Ina. I don't care what anybody Jackie Ina is. Jackie, 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 Jackie. Now I bought a lot of things from Jackie. Now I got this uh, Forever Move bag this year that I really love. Yes, God. And I have her Forever Move core gift set. Of course, I've purchased a lot of Forever Move products. And it's like, how is this your favorite? You don't even have it open. She has big, regular sizes, so I've smelled them all. <laughs> I've used them all. <laughs> so that's how I know that I really love them. And so this is very nice. These are very, for um, travel size, they are very, you can smell them. 
you can smell it. Now, they ain't going to, you know, if you got a huge mansion, I don't know what to tell you, but, you know, you put this in your room, your bathroom, baby, you going to smell these. These are powerful, and they smell so good. My favorite is Joma. That's Joy of Missing Out, which is this one here. I love that one. So good, so good. And before I leave, this is not any kind of skincare since I had it sitting here. Um, this is a black owned brand as well. And this is Leisure Travel. Now this is black owned. This is the money bag. And I think it's called leisuretravel.co. And I saw my friend post this and I'm like, uh, say, who is that? And she told me, you know, it's a black owned company, whatever. She was like, oh. and then I looked at the price. I was like, oh, that's cute. And she was like, I got a code for you. What is it? So I went on leisure, I think it's leisurelytravel.co. And she gave me a code TH15. And I got 15% off. And this is special to me because I went to Atlanta. This I went to Atlanta with this one. And I saw my future husband and T.S. Madison and some other people. So... This is really nice. It's a really nice bag. As you can see, it's green. Green, I am really gravitating to green because I'm gravitating to money this year in 2024. That's the plan. So uh, anyways, that is everything that I have purchased that I fell in love with. Now, there's some other things, but again, like you see, it would have lasted all day. I want to say I appreciate you if you watch the whole thing. I appreciate you. I know I talk for days. Sometimes I have nothing. When I watch this back, I'll be like, boy, what the hell did you say that for? But you know what? It's all me. It's all me. That's Erica by Do Me. It's all me. But anyways, y'all have a good one. Happy holidays. This holiday season, I'm gonna be by myself. Um, I'm you know, my mother, she went out of town with my sister, and so I'll be home with my dogs and you know, celebrating by chilling and just, you know, I'm going to see color purple. So that's, that's all I'm doing. Anyways, I hope you all having fun. Enjoy your family, please. If anybody try to shave, you know, just leave. Ain't nobody going to argue with nobody up from now on to 2024. <laughs> we ain't arguing. Just leave. You got your car. Get your words out that house. Gone. Find your peace in your house. You ain't got to sit there and let your family talk crazy to you. Your friends, your boo, get on out. Or you just get your ass out the house. That's all you got to do. I'm just saying. Anyways, I love you. Bye.